Okay, it is tournament day. Uh, not sure how many people are actually going to show up. We had about 15 people confirm that they were going. Usually we get about 10 to 15 more people showing up than what said they were going on Facebook. And yeah, I mean, today should be really competitive. It looks like it's going to be a good day. It's warm. It's 76 degrees. It's been consistently warm the last few days, so that should get the fish being active. But it's also overcast. And uh, I'm really not sure the science behind that, but whenever it's overcast like this, it, the fish are just active. They eat more. And uh, yeah, they should be starting to spawn, like starting to pair off at least anyway. Well, they were pairing off and making bids before the freeze and all that, but they should be back into some normal behavior now for this time of year. We're almost... It's almost springtime. We should they should start acting like it's springtime. Uh, so yeah, I think there's gonna be a lot of people there and I think there's gonna be a lot of fish caught. So uh, yeah. We're going to a stretch of the San Antonio River off VFW Boulevard. Uh, it's, it's a spot that I go and fish in my own on my own time. So I it's somewhere that usually produces. One of the one of the reasons we picked it as a tournament spot is because there's actually parking in the area. Uh, so it produces and it's accessible. So we should be pretty good today. Should be pretty competitive. So uh, let's just let's get out there and get to it. All right, the tournament has started. We had a really good amount of people show up, like 20 something. So, which is starting to become average. It's not really such a big amount of people anymore. This is like the average amount of people now. The average amount used to be like 10 to 15. Now we're 25 to 30 is average. So, we're started. Everybody else is already heading down. Mike here in front of me is heading down. Normally when I fish here during the tournaments, I go north. Today I'm gonna do something different. I'm going south. I'm gonna go south, try to hit a couple of spots I know out in that area and see if I can pull anything in. Okay, and last tournament out here, uh, I lost my tape measure, so the fish that I caught didn't count. This time, to make sure, I brought three tape measures. Got one. Oh no! Lost a bass right away. That was a decent, decent little guad that I just lost. He was on a bed, so hopefully maybe he'll come back and I can try to get it again. It's really humid and muggy today. It's only like 75 degrees, but it feels like it's really hot. Yep, there we go. It's not as big as the one I lost a little while ago, but it counts. This one is 10 inches. There we go. Not my camera wasn't even on. I thought it was on, but I just caught one right now, right off the edge of the bank there. It's a nice little quad. So that's two on the board for me. Yep. This is my second one. Second, yeah, this is a little quad. The other one was a little large mouth. Awesome. 
This one's about an inch bigger than the last one. Okay. Guy across from me over there just caught a big one. He can't even flip it up. He has to reach down and get it. <laughs> Three and a half pounder at least. You're, you're disqualified. <laughs> I was getting kind of nervous because everybody else is already catching one. <laughs> There we go. Oh no! Yeah, it was at least the same size as the one you just had. I thought I was stuck. I was it wrapped around a rock, and then I let it go, and it started running off that way. But I guess I didn't set the hook good enough. Okay, so I really should have four fish, but I lost two. And I just lost one right now. That was a fairly good size one. So, and then I had another bite right after that, but he didn't, he never had the hook. So I'm not really going to say I lost that one, but <clears throat> yeah, I should have four fish right now. I just had a big swirl on it. Got him. That's not the big one, but it's a fish. I don't think this is what just made a big swirl on my bait a second ago, but it could be a little bitty guad. Nine, in the, nine inches, that's what I'm gonna say, nine inches. Swimming off. Mike just caught one over there. Uh, the other guy over there caught one a little while ago. I just caught one right now. So like I was saying from the beginning, it's gonna be competitive today. There is a good amount of fish today. Can't imagine what everybody else is catching. But I'm up to three, about 20, let's say 19 and a half plus another nine. It's gonna be what, 28 and a half so far, 28 and a half inches. <laughs> you caught any yet? An eight inch. How about him? <laughs> he lost one. You see him? It's like right there. It's a good size. Oh, 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 we got him, got him, got him. There you go. Got him, got him, got him. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That is a pretty good one. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. He's right there, he's right there. He's still there, yeah. Ah, uh, no. Right. That was probably what three pounds? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, my bad, Marty. He's, he's gonna stay there because there's a bed. Yeah. Now the only question is, do you keep going after it, or do you move somewhere yeah. else and get another one? Oh, damn. Personally, I would let it settle yeah, for a little bit, while, chill right. out, and then come back in a little while, see if he's Probably back. Do. Only was... problem is if you move from here and somebody else finds the spot. <laughs> there was two, but the other one got like left, and this one's the only one that stayed. Well, the other one, I would assume, was a little smaller, probably the male. If if he left, he's probably not too far. He's probably just patrolling around. He'll probably be back. Well, that's two of them. I guess the other one got scared away. Yeah, they'll both be back.
Oh, there we go. Another small one, though. <laughs> I knew today was going to be good. I'm up to four. I need a, I need that, the big kicker. Oh my God, no. That was my last one too. He just pulled my bait off the hook and that was my last one. That's the only thing they've been biting today. <sighs> Crap. Okay, my battery's dead. I didn't realize it. I gotta change out that battery. But, I was actually able to find another one in that original color, but this was one that I meant to throw in the trash because it was an old used one. I just trimmed it up some. And hopefully, it's not gonna have the same movement as it should, but hopefully it'll work. Oh my God, are you kidding me? They're pulling it, they're just, I'd say there's at least two of them there that are just pulling it right off the hook. And that was the last of those that I had. So, let me try. Maybe they'll get this. <clears throat> this is a real rocky area and I don't want to be throwing a jig, but... We'll see. That was three in a row that he just pulled it completely off the hook. And there's a snag. That's exactly what I was expecting. There we go. Got him that time. He actually came after it. It's not a very big one, but I got him. Oh, it actually is a pretty nice quad. There we go. It's fish number five. It's a nice little chunky one. I'm gonna leave this rod over here. <clears throat> this is an 11. This is my biggest fish of the day. Actually, he's a 11 and a quarter. All right, so that's 11 and a quarter. Means now I need to start culling. I need to beat a nine. I need to cull a nine inch fish. I need to beat nine inches. Because that's my smallest one. Uh, is that everybody? Think so? I think so, yeah. I knew today was gonna be really close. The, uh, like almost 30. Not bad, not so, bad. the top three all broke 50 inches total. No way. Yeah. And then I had 49 and a quarter. So, uh, third place with 50 inches and a quarter is Joseph. Second place with 53 and a half is Mike Guzman. First place with 55 and a quarter is Fernando Wolf. So, so that was, yeah, and uh, oh, no, nah, don't worry about it, man. All right, no, that's cool. Thanks, man. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so, and I'm gonna go through and get everything else tallied up for the the top five to get the angler of the year points and all that. So, thanks for coming out. I'll we'll see you guys next month. Yours was uh, 50.25, which, and you only had four fish, right? Yeah. So, I mean, if you had one more, that would have been. I missed a few, but. Yeah, it's because you, and, and the big fish was uh, Mike Dominguez had 17 and a half. So, but you had two 15s and a 12, that was, that was big. 
Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, man. You have a good evening. You too. Yeah, See you, Roger. Next one. Where's the next one at? You remember? Uh, I don't remember offhand. I don't remember. But. <laughs>